Next week, I'm heading out on a seven day, 80 mile trip on the Ozark Highland Trail. What's in my pack? What am I bringing? Stay tuned. My name is Jeremy, trail name almost with Midwest Backpacker. I do a lot of trail, outdoor adventures, gear videos. Before I show you what's in my pack for this trip and what I'm bringing along, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button. There's a bell notification. You'll be notified when I put out new content. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Let's start out with what I'm wearing from the head down to my toes. Uh, starting on my head, this is the custom printed face blanket from Hilltop Packs. Brand new, first time I'm taking this out on the trip, uh, but you can see my logo's printed on there and it's sweet. So thank Ben McMillan. Uh, I'm gonna be putting out a review on this and another bag that I have from them in a couple weeks. So check that out. Okay, going down. Uh, underneath, I have a Smart Wool t-shirt. Over the top, I have a hoodie from Cabela's. Uh, it's polyester. The reason why I like it is the pockets zip. So when I'm all camping, when I'm sleeping, I can put stuff in there and zip it up and it won't fall out to keep it warm at night. Uh, going down to my pants, uh, Columbia convertible pants where I can zip off the legs and wear them as shorts. Uh, some spandex underwear. Darn tough socks and uh, sock liners. The reason why I wear these sock liners is they are supposed to help reduce friction uh, on your feet. The friction is going to go between the socks and the sock liners instead of between the sock and my flesh. So I haven't hardly had any blisters when I wear these. And finally on the bottom here, they're still muddy from my last trip, but they are the Solomon X Ultra Prime hiking shoes. Now, I like to wear hiking shoes where there's a little bit more substantial sole on the bottom opposed to a trail runner where there isn't much sole. And these are much lighter uh, than a hiking boot. Now, these are not waterproof. So on the Ozark Highland Trail, you have to walk through a lot of creeks and streams and you're getting your feet wet. And we're not taking our shoes off at every stream crossing. So I need something that's going to dry out quickly. And finally, I have the Cascadia uh, carbon fiber lightweight trekking poles. Uh, you know, they're just cheap carbon fiber trekking poles that you can find on Amazon. I've had these for over a year and they haven't broken and I like them a lot. Okay, let's move over to my pack. My pack is a Z-Pax Arc Hall ultra lightweight backpack. I've had it for about a year and a half now and I really, really like it. Um, Super lightweight, super durable, super comfortable. So uh, let me show you what's on the outside of the pack. On the top here, you can see, of course, I have my Doritos. Uh, as I walk along the trail and after I open the first time, I'll put the second half of the bag in a Ziploc bag and put it inside of my backpack. Okay, on the back of the Z-Pax Arc Hall is a great big mesh pouch. And uh, this is kind of my junk drawer of where I put things that I need to access a lot, things that may get wet, and uh, just things that don't fit inside the pack. So the first thing uh, on here, of course, is the Ozark Highlands Trail map. So this is the uh, Underwood Graphics map, um, and it's a beautiful map, uh, full color. It, it has all 80 miles that we're hiking. The great thing about this map is it shows you um, mile markers. So we're starting at, I think, mile marker around, I don't know, 75, 85, around in there. And on the trail, they have marked each mile, 85, 86, 87, and those map markers are on here. So you can tell where you're at all the time. It shows you campsites, uh, trail crossings, where water are, uh, it's a really beautiful map. Uh, next, I have the Thermal Rest Z-Seat 
I have yet to use this seat. It's brand new, but I'm not bringing a chair on this hike. So this will be uh, work out well for sitting on the ground uh, and not getting my bottom wet. Uh, underneath my hammock, I have a ground sheet. It's Tyvek. I have a microfiber washcloth rag towel just for wiping various things off. The CNOC two liter water pouch for, uh, for water filtering. I have seven 10 stakes. Uh, these are just Walmart 10 stakes. Uh, they bend easy, but they're light and they're only like a dollar so I can replace them easily and uh, affordably. My Sawyer Squeeze water filter. Uh, my outdoor research, I believe they're called a Helium 2 uh, rain jacket. Light AF rain skirt. Yes, I do wear a skirt when it rains, but uh, I find rain pants, I just get too hot and wet underneath, so uh, this works out well. That's everything in the pouch. You can see on the back here that I have uh, my Crocs. They're uh, tied on with the straps on the bottom. Uh, on the outside, I am carrying 12 ounces of alcohol for my alcohol stove, and this is just in a juice bottle. Uh, also on the side, in this uh, Dyneema pouch, are my spreader bars for my bridge hammock and the uh, pull mods for my rain fly. Uh, the, the poles that pull the rain fly out so you get a little bit more space underneath. On the other side, you'll see I have one liter of water. And if I go around to the front here, on the front of my pack is, uh, I just made this, a, it's custom, uh, it's to hold my tripod. So right on my shoulder strap, I can put my camera in and easily pull my tripod and camera out to shoot video. On the other strap, you see I have just a cheap Timex watch. And frankly, I don't think the time is right, but the reason why I like having this on there is it beeps every hour. So when you're out on the trail for a long time, it's nice to kind of keep track of how, how fast time's going. A lot of times, you know, I'll say, all right, next time it beeps, I'm going to take a water break. Uh, also on the outside here, I have my Garmin InReach Mini. Um, this helps keep track of where I'm at. And for safety, it has a SOS button on there. Above that is a cheap little whistle, and it also has a compass and a thermometer on there. Uh, the, th the thermometer isn't real accurate, but uh, the whistle and the compass work well. And also on the front, I have a second water bottle on my shoulder strap water bottle carrier that is from Justin, and I have a review on the water bottle carrier, and I'll uh, put a link to it right up here. All right, so that's everything on the outside. On the top of the pack, you can see it has a roll top. So I was able to roll down pretty, uh, pretty far this, this trip. Um, first thing I'm pulling out here is my Ursac Major. Uh, so this is a food bag that is bear proof and I'll show you what I'm bringing for food in just a minute. Underneath the food, I have my clothing bag. So in my clothing bag, I'll show you what I'm bringing along for extra clothing that I'm not originally wearing. Okay, so I have a couple extra pairs of darn tough hiking socks. I have a pair of wool homemade wristies. So these are just old wool socks that I cut out so they'll fit on my hand. Um, and I find that these keep me really warm when I'm wearing a long sleeve coat. A lot of times I wanna use my fingers and uh, they work really well. And 
If I'm hiking and my fingers get cold, it's just as simple as pulling it up over your fingers. I have a pair of running shorts that are just from Target. I have a lightweight uh, George brand polyester uh, long underwear from Walmart. I have another um, smart wool t-shirt. What else is in here? And finally, I have a pair of thick wool socks that I can wear in my hammock at night and they're nice and toasty for the feet. Okay, if we keep on going into the backpack, I have my ditty bag. So my ditty bag is simply just a uh, zip bag, plastic bag, super lightweight. I've, I've been carrying this thing for like three years and it hasn't broken. So, um, so I have some body glide. I have some toe warmers. I have some dude wipes for uh, wiping after you go to the bathroom. I have a uh, bracket for holding my cell phone on a tripod. So I'm really hard on tripods when I'm out backpacking and on my Colorado trip last year, my tripod that uh, wasn't on the front here because I'm using it right now, um, one similar to that broke and I didn't have a tripod for the rest of the trip. So uh, not only can I shoot with my Canon uh, G7X Mark II, but I can also shoot with my cell phone. So I'm bringing the mounting bracket for my cell phone as well as an Ultrapod small uh, backup uh, tripod. I have an extra set of matches and lighter. I have some cotton balls mixed in with Vaseline that work really well as a fire starter. I have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Now I will put this after the first night in my food bag and store it in my food bag overnight. There's an extra smart water bottle uh, cover. So just in case you uh, drop it or uh, lose it when you're filtering your water, here's an extra one. I have some allergy pills, which uh, are the same as Benadryl. Basically, if you get stung by bees or have allergic reaction, poison ivy, something like that, these will help out. I bring a little piece of tenacious tape, and you can see I've used a little uh, piece of it. This works well for if you get a hole in your down coat, uh, your quilts, your uh, rain fly, uh, just for making repairs out on the trail. And uh, I have in here moleskin padding, but this is being thrown out and I'm gonna have some uh, Luco tape in here, which I guess is great, uh, kind of like Band-Aids, but it comes in tape. This is my new custom printed dual pocket gadget bag from Hilltop Packs. Uh, very nice, as I said, it's made out of Dyneema. It only weighs a half an ounce uh, and it works really well. So this is where I put all of my electronics and everything that I'm going to want to access when I'm laying in my hammock. So let's dump this out. So inside of my dual pocket gadget bag, I have my power bank from Anchor. Uh, this is a little bit bigger one. Hopefully it'll last seven days and I'm unable to charge it uh, at our resupply. So this needs to last seven days. Uh, it's the 2100 version of the Anchor. Uh, also in there I have my Nightcore 25U headlamp. Uh, this is very bright, I really like it, and it's rechargeable. I have six extra batteries here for my Canon G7X Mark II camera, and I also have a wind muff. The wind muff is to help cut down the wind noise uh, on the microphone on the camera. Uh, I, now I have six batteries here, so I need seven because I usually go through one of these batteries per day. 
I have a charging cord. This charging cord works both for the headlamp and for the Garmin Mini. And I have a charging cord that I will, I will use on my iPhone 10, as well as some earbuds uh, for in the hammock. I have some ear plugs that I use almost every night when I sleep in my hammock, as well as some medications that I take every night. And finally, on the bottom of my backpack is a 20 liter dry bag from Sea to Summit. And in this dry bag, I have everything that I really, really want to stay dry. And the reason why I put this on the bottom of my backpack is you can see it's compressed super tight. So uh, there's a lot of down in here and I squish it down as much as I can and I got to get it into my backpack before it expands a little bit. So inside of here, uh, I have my REI Magna 850 uh, hooded jacket. Super warm, I love the hood. Uh, that way I don't need to bring a, uh, anything to wear on my head when I'm sleeping at night. Here is my local Libre underquilt. It is a um, Ridge Reaper underquilt from Local Libre. It's a 20 degree, 900 fill down power. Next thing in here is my top quilt. This is a Hammock Gear Burrow top quilt uh, with 850 fill goose down. And finally, the last thing in this sack is my underquilt protector from 2QZQ. Worked really well on my last trip and uh, I think I'll be bringing it along on every trip now. I mean, it's hardly any weight and it packs down super small. So that's everything in my backpack. I wanna show you now a little detail of what food I'm bringing. So everything you see here is inside of that Ursac with the exception of the Doritos that I'm carrying on top of my pack as we start the hike. So inside is my cook kit. So my cook kit is all inside of my Tokes Titanium 550 pot. So my cook kit includes some matches and a lighter, the actual stove itself, and inside the stove I have a measuring cup. So this measuring cup gets used for uh, the alcohol that's poured into the Fancy Feast stove. And also on there is a base that goes underneath the Fancy Feast stove. And the purpose of the base is if you're cooking on some uh, uneven ground, this helps balance uh, that stove when you have the water on top. Inside of there is also a windscreen. Uh, I also have inside my food bag my long-handled Sea to Summit spork and a uh, do-it-yourself Tyvek uh, cozy. So when I pour the water in my food, I put it in here and it helps keep it warm. Okay, so inside of my bag, um, you see that I have my three breakfasts, a couple of protein bars and oatmeal. I have my three lunches, which are some meat sticks and goldfish on two days. And in the middle day here, I have a Cajun Ranch chicken salad from Packet Gourmet and some crackers. Uh, for dinners, I have a chili mac uh, from Mountain House. And what I did is I got the big cans, divided it up, vacuum sealed it and I pour the boiling water into a freezer bag. So this is a little bit smaller packaging and it's a little bit cheaper than buying the usual mountain house packets. Uh, the second day I'm having mashed potatoes and I have another bag inside of this bag with bacon bits. And the third day it looks like I'm having some beef stroganoff from mountain house along with some peanut butter and jelly sandwich over here. So snacks, snacks are very important. So I keep snacks inside of my ursac, but I also keep them on my hip pouch because I want access to them while I'm hiking. Uh, in my hip belt, I have uh, Swedish fish, uh, fruit snacks. I have some tabs that uh, you chew on when you're getting really sweaty that helps uh, refurbish your body with electrolytes. And I have some M&Ms of disappointment 
what other people call trail mix, but uh, to my trail mix, I supplement it with extra peanut M&Ms. Inside of my Ursac, I have more trail mix. I have a hot chocolate. I have some Girl Scout Thin Mints. And I have a Snickers, one for each night. So this is what's in my pack. Let me show you what I'm putting in my resupply. The resupply is coming after three days of hiking. Here's everything that I'm mailing to myself in my resupply. I'm mailing it to Pelsor, Arkansas, which is about halfway through our hike. The post office is about a mile, mile and a half off the trail, a road walk. There's absolutely nothing else in the town, no restaurant, no uh, convenience store, nothing. So uh, as a treat to myself, as soon as I pick up that package, I have some items that I'm going to eat that you wouldn't usually hike with because they weigh too much. Uh, the first one is I have a bottle of Gatorade. I have a big can of pineapple chunks. I have four of these little Debbie chocolate chip cookie cream sandwiches, a couple honey buns, and of course some Doritos. Um, and also, so that'll be my lunch on that day, and I brought some beef sticks that I may eat along with that, or just eat them uh, for the rest of the trip, and other lunches, dinners, snacks. Also in my bag are more dude wipes for wiping the hiney, and some more of my medications. Okay, so my meals in the resupply for the second half of the trip, I have three breakfasts, uh, two protein bars, and a berry berry smoothie. I've never had it from Packet Gourmet, but it looks delicious, and I thought I'd shake it up and try something new. Uh, I have these beef sticks that are going to go along with that lunch uh, after the resupply, and my other two lunches are uh, a Texas two-step turkey wrap from Packet Gourmet. Looks delicious. Never tried it. Comment down below if it's any good. Uh, and some ramen on the third day. My dinners, that first night, I'm going to try some of this Cheddar Jack cheese spread from Packet Gourmet. I've heard it's delicious. And I've packed some Ritz crackers. Uh, so these Ritz crackers I usually wouldn't pack because uh, they'd break apart and be a disaster, but I only have to hike a half a day for six miles with them. So I'm gonna try to keep them from breaking to eat on uh, with the Cheddar Jack cheese spread. Along with that, I'm gonna have some ramen that night. Second night, I'm gonna have uh, some lasagna and some PB&J on these little flatbreads uh, that pack down and you don't have to worry about squishing. This is probably too much food, but I tend to overpack too much food. And there's potential, depending on how high the Buffalo River is, that we may have to hike an extra day and uh, I should be covered for that. So my whole pack weighs right now 26 pounds, uh, base weight is 17 pounds. So by no means am I super ultra lightweight, but things that are weighing that down that I won't compromise on are my bridge hammock probably makes it weigh an extra pound. Uh, I have to carry my camera gear and my ursac are a couple of the things that tend to add a little bit of weight, which uh, most people may not have. So, hey, I hope you like this video. Uh, go ahead and check me out on Instagram and on Facebook. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when I have new videos coming out. I will have a new video coming out in a week or two uh, that shows my Ozark Highland Trail trip. And uh, I think that you'll like that one. So thanks for watching. We'll see you out on the trail. Thanks for tuning in. This is Jeremy, trail name almost, with Mindre Backpacker.